Good day, peeps. Scofield here. Welcome to episode 47 of the Derby Way. Now, where the fuck have I been for three weeks? Well, internet woes, um, illness, and, uh, well, Christmas, uh, really, and work. Uh, that's where I've been. Um, but hopefully we're back. Sorry if I sound snotty. That is just what's happening to me. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully we're back. Um, there'll be uh, a few things that will be changing for for us over the course of the next few weeks. Um, which I should probably go into explanation more. I'll probably do a channel update and... Uh, when I do it, you'll see what's what, what's what. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, you, you'll see that coming. Anyway, in the background, you have seen that our first game of episode forty-seven was a simulation. It was against Barnsley. Barnsley were just literally a point outside the relegation uh, spot when we started. Thomas uh, Brace from Wilson and Marcus White on the score sheets in a thrilling four-nil victory. Well done, lads. So, uh, middle of November in 2020 here, and uh, Christophe Niassi, um, he's been on the transfer list, didn't manage to get sold. Doncaster, however, have uh, shown interest of buying him for half a million. Um, I'm not sure what his valuation is. It's above his valuation, and uh, he is no longer required at the club, so we'll accept that. And uh, hopefully he'll go join Doncaster. A couple of days later, and... Um, Bradford want to take Sean Davis on a one-year loan. Uh, I believe he is on the loan list. Uh, but, uh, well, we'll accept it. And uh, it will be good experience for him. Second game of this episode. And we are away at Wolves at the Molyneux. Um, the reserves are out for this game. We have a few players on international duty for Finland. And uh, Jamie Jackson got booked in the simulation against Barnsley, so he was suspended. So I thought, well, you know what? The best way around this is probably to put the reserves in. So the reserves get the start. Mason, Jacobs, Niemi, Lee, Granero, Collins, Carson, Mate, Peltola, Evans and Carter make up the team. Let's go into this. Here's Carter. Evans. Oh, it's a lovely dink over. Granero's there. Crosses the ball in. Mate is there. Oh, he's at the crossbar. Oh, there is uh, one of Tomo's favourite players. And, uh, well, he's at the crossbar in this game. First game played. Oh, it's well played by Jacobs. Matey just does enough. Carter flicks it through. Here is Evans. Takes the shot. It's one. It's one. And it's Evans with the goal. And, well, it appears I haven't lost it yet. Time yet though, we're only 12 minutes in. Lovely bit of play, lovely play. The space that Evans found himself out there and then wails the shot past the keeper. To his uh, to the keeper's right hand side. Keeper doesn't stand a chance, there's too much power generated behind the shot. And Derby are 1 0 up. And, uh, well, that's just the sort of start we wanted, really. Lucas Evans, which is third for the season as well. Well done, lad. Carter. Knocks it through. Here's Peltola. Oh, turns his man lovely. Takes a shot, but it's, um, well, still rising. It's heading for the moon. Lovely bit of skill to uh, cut it back inside. But just off balance, I think. Over the bar it goes. And here come Wolves. We've sort of let them through here. A bit of a bit of dodgy defending. He's offside, I think. But Mason makes a save anyway. Oh, he wasn't offside. Okay. Oh, we'll have a corner now, Wolves will. Come in. Granero's trying to be under it. Collins gets up and it goes harmlessly out for a throw-in. Oh, that pass has uh, managed to find itself way behind uh, Lee's legs. Oh, Niemi, what a bit of defending that was. Shot comes in. Oh, Lee's tried to defend it. Oh, thank God that has hit the crossbar and missed. I don't know what happened with Lee there, but fell straight to the Wolves man at the back and uh, well fortunately for us it hits the crossbar and goes out Granero that cross has come in Peltola's there oh how has he missed how has the keeper saved it that should have been two we'll get another throw in 
Oh, it's too too close to the keeper, and it's Fonty. Didn't realise that. Fonty is in goals for Wolves. He is our goalkeeper, and uh, well, we've beaten him once, but it uh, makes a good save that time. Can we see out this till half time? Yes, we can. It's one nil at half time. The whistle's just blown, and uh, Lucas Evans with the goal, and a uh, nice little surprise to find. Uh, Fontana in goals four Wolves in this game so uh, yeah steady first half hopefully it will improve in the second oh no that's terrible defending oh it's 1-1 one, one. and uh, well they just ripped us apart straight from kickoff near enough there ah oh, dear Mason beaten low on oh, his near post I don't, trying to work out who it was that was defending that. It was oh, it was Niemi. Of all the people, I wouldn't expect him to do that sort of thing. Just randomly stand tackling in thin air. Well, let's the Wolves player in. And it's 1-1. One, one. Never mind. Up and at him, boys. That's a lovely pass through. Here is Carter. Mate, oh, another fucking shot off the crossbar, and it's no again. It's by Mate. Ah, oh, damn. Runier inside to Carter. There is Carlson. Peltola takes the shot. It's just wide. And uh, well, this is going to be the first chance we've had to make any substitutions from the 20 minutes, so we'll get it on. Triple sub time. 80 minutes, Watson, Lupu and Lasagna are coming on for Jacobs, Carter and Granero. Show up the defence and bring a little bit of firepower on up top. Peltola sees a run and it's uh, Iorgo Matey. Plays it inside. Evans! Oh my god, Evans! Oh my god, what a fucking miss. No words. And here is the corner. Matey to deliver. Evans is on the end of it. Well, the header was on target, but it does look like that's going to... Uh, we're going to share the spoils of this game. And we do. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh, just a bit of bad defending, really, to concede the goal that we conceded. But... Uh, uh, it's been a while since I've played FIFA. The reserves don't quite feel as fluid as I was expecting them to. But yeah, well, we'll take shared spoils for this game. 1-1. One, one. Lucas Evans with a goal for Derby. Well, as per usual in FIFA 18, your youth players don't want to leave your club even if they're not getting game time. And there's no exception here. Sean Davis has rejected his low move to Bradford. Twat. Well, Christoph Niasi has agreed terms with Doncaster. Half a million is the final um, fee agreed, and he will be leaving on the 1st of January. Thanks for what he did there, I suppose. Third and final game of this episode, and we are at home at Pride Park against QPR. First team back in action, Romano, Hill, VT Jackson, Mendes Jr., Thomas, Abeledo, Pereira and Wilson in midfield and Allen and White still up top because he's still an unhappy bunny. Santana will be coming on probably at half time though because he is so fast. But let's go get into this. Let's see how the boys fare in this game. And as junior, here is Jamie Jackson. Wilson. White! Oh, what a save by the keeper. Fuck! Pereira will pick it up, play it inside, Avaleto plays it quickly to Wilson, pings it, oh, it's just over the bar, it's the story of this game, this half, everything so far has been near, or should have been, oh, dipping well as well, just over the bar, bastard, just play, just pick, run onto the ball, White, it does well, Plays it through. Here is Alan. Oh, he takes the shot. I think it's saved by the keeper again. Having a game of his life. Smith is here. 
goes low and hard and just enough on it just a toe to take it away bastard now well, there's half time and how the hell it's still no no I don't really know we've had so many chances in that first half so many <sighs> no no Santana will be coming on for white in the second half so uh, that is a change that is definitely happening at half time no no Wilson back to Pereira got Tyler Hill to his uh, to his left Pereira will turn inside Abreu back to Thomas pings from distance and over the bar from Connor probably would have been better trying to come inside there uh, just hit too hard oh and uh, we've just been done here by the QPR man can we defend it though oh you'd have thought we would have been able to but uh, I've got a feeling oh close close from QPR first real chance that they've had and it's a piss poor shot really I think it's time to make some substitutions as well for the Rams so final two substitutions Lupu and McDonald are hitting the pitch to replace Pereira and Tyler Hill hopefully freshen things up and see us out for the last 20 odd minutes of this game it's just a lot of nearlies and nothings really Lupu is that not a free kick ref you were stood right on top of it couldn't see it I guess Thomas has done well there got it over to Wilson Avaledo Lupu Abreu just waits Abaledo's there ping 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 Abaledo go on Cristobal well finally finally we break the keepers uh, resolve and we beat him he's had an exceptional match we haven't been fantastic in front of goal ourselves it's been a bit of uh, um, near chances and should have been but this one no mistakes from Cristobal Avaleto has just pounded that into the back of the net. He's got his fourth of the season. Well done, lad. It's 1 0. Come on, boys. And we'll get a corner out of it. Wilson will whip it in. Allen's there. Allen scored. 2 0. Come on. And it's Allen. Back amongst the goals. Uh, first goal this episode. And, uh, well, great corner. Great delivery from Wilson. Places it onto the head of Allen he just has to direct that one goalwards beats the keeper it's too quick a movement oh thank god Allen scored needed that 2-0 and Ed gets his 7th for the season Avaledo plays it out to Mendes Jr into Lupu back to Avaledo plays it Allen lays it off to Wilson takes the shot and uh, well again he's not been far away it's only a matter of time before he starts banging those in on a regular basis Rosenberg-esque he is Rosenberg-esque Thomas back out to Abeledo oh he tries to get through to Santana it doesn't matter we have won this match 2-0 it looked dicey it looked like uh, QPR might have stole a 1-0 victory at one point but goals from Abeledo and Ed Allen have, uh, have established this 2-0 lead which is good QPR weren't far behind us in the table we need every point we can pick up but uh, yeah we'll take that 2-0 that's a massive game of chances it's going to be hard to edit this one down um, there's probably going to be a lot of shots that have missed out but good game good win well done Derby and so that is the end of episode 47 great uh, great results really from the boys today hard fought point with Wolves should have been a win and um, a 2-0 victory against QPR and of course that demolition of Barnsley in the simulation of the first game quick look at the league table we now sit in third after 17 games uh, one point behind West Brom they are our next opponents we uh, will need to be on our best for that Leeds currently is dominating towards the top three points clear uh, but it's very tight as the championship always is quick look down towards the bottom of the table Bolton, Barnsley and Sheffield United make up the relegation spots but uh, again it's tight down there anyone up to Ipswich in 17th could drop into there really in the next couple of games but uh, yep we'll uh, we'll take that 
and uh, thank you for stopping by and watching this I've been Garfield if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you really enjoyed it please smash subscribe and tell your friends because that will help me a lot and uh, until next time friends doodles